Okay, this is take two of the same video. And the whole point was to film more. And I filmed 15 minutes ago and I didn't like it. I just didn't, I didn't like it. Instead of repeating the same thing that I just said in the first video, I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about, I believe Chris called it the, this, the looking glass of filmmaking. The, the whole point of that term or phrase is the fact that people don't like the first thing that they make, especially in the beginning. I just can't get over it. <laughs> I think as I go along, especially in editing, I've already taken a huge liking to it, and I just have to get more comfortable with actually being on camera. I want to film more, I want to make more videos, but it's so difficult when everything that I look at just looks like it could be better, even though I know it can't, because the only way it can be better is if I filmed more. I'm going to film more, I'm just going to compile clips and videos and press record often, way more often than I would have if I just didn't have the confidence. That's what's more important. I'm not worried about the quality of the video. I'm not worried about how long or how short it is. I just want to, I want to post a video. I just want to make videos. I want to capture moments. I, I set this shot up because I just simply didn't like how the other one looked. I hope that the music that I find to put on top of this video works with the video and makes it better. I hope that the editing that I do to the video makes it better. Once I edit and once I put music on, then it's done. And it will be better. Because once it's done, it's already better. And then it's posted, and then I get to look back on it. I only wanted to shoot this video because I wanted to talk about all the different things that I'm involved in with photography and the fact that I don't actually put my work out there. I don't do anything. I don't put anything online. And I just need to do that more often. That's what I'm going to do. I'm really excited to shoot more and get better because once I get better and those videos start looking better and better and better, I'm just going to want to shoot more and more and more. So, Peter McKinnon is a huge inspiration, very big motivation, as well as Steve Antonioni, a finance YouTuber who, for some reason, has an extremely strong gift in his videography. He makes videos that I could not dream of making right now. So, I'm just going to try to get to their level. We'll see how long that takes. And for now, that's it. See you next time.